Hey there, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, this video is just a bit of fun, really. It's not a scientific test, but what we're going to do is we're going to see if my two month old 13 inch 2020 MacBook Pro, which was fully specced out at the time, compares to the base model M1 MacBook Pro for £1,200. That's right, this is about £1,200 here in the UK, and this was about £2,200, I think, just a couple of months ago. So, really, this should be that base MacBook Pro every time, but we're seeing so many videos just showing the power and speed coming from these new chips. So we're just gonna have a bit of fun in this video. We're gonna open a few apps, just see how fast they open. We're gonna open some Photoshop, some Premiere, some Final Cut, and just see how the apps run on the new M1 chip compared to the Intel. Okay, so this is just a bit of fun, nothing scientific here. On the left hand side we have my 13 inch 2020 MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM. On the right hand side we have the base MacBook Pro with the Apple M1 chip. And all we're going to do in this quick test is just open apps and just see uh, which one opens fastest. So one, two, three, the, M the M1 chip easily won there, which is crazy. Let's close that down, let's open the next app. Let's open up, uh, let's try Final Cut. So one, two, three. Again, the M1 chip absolutely smashes it a lot faster than my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Next up, let's try, um, let's try an app that, which isn't actually uh, developed yet for the M1 chip. This is Photoshop and this is the Intel version of Photoshop. So this really should be a lot quicker. The M1 chip is winning at the moment, and it's won. It's opened up faster than the Intel version. This is being emulated, and this still won. Let's close these down. Let's try Premiere Pro. And again, this will be emulated. So we'll do this in one, two, three. Both about even. But again, this is being emulated on the M1. Oh my word. And it's beating my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Let's just close that out. That's crazy. Let's do a couple of more little tests here. What else can we open? Actually, we've got the beta version of Photoshop. So let's open the beta, M, uh, beta ARM M1 chip version of Photoshop versus Photoshop for Intel. One, two, three. Look how fast that is. That is getting me really excited for when Adobe update all the apps for the M1 chip. And then finally, let's try Safari. One, two, three. Again, the M1 chip wins out and uh, it's just a fun little test there, nothing scientific. And of course, the other factors in play there, the, uh, this MacBook Pro has a little bit more stuff on its hard drive, but really, you know, it's got twice the amount of RAM. It has a really fast Intel Core i5 processor. So you would think this should still beat it. This is still the one that you can buy today. This isn't an old version. This is, if you go for the Intel model, this is the MacBook Pro. You will get delivered today if you order this today still, if you do not choose the M1 chip. And so it's quite surprising that this M1 chip is winning out. So how about that? The M1 chip won on nearly every single app. I think actually it did win on every single app. So this is faster for opening apps than my 2020 current edition MacBook Pro. How crazy is that? Let me know in the comment section what you thought about that. And of course, that was just a quick test. If you want to see more in-depth tests for Photoshop, on these two on Final Cut on Adobe Premiere Pro. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button because we've got those videos coming very soon. We're also going to show how you can run LumaFusion, the iPad video editing app, on this M1 chip MacBook Pro. So keep a lookout for that and I'll see you in the next video.